Zero. One. Two. Three. You need to have a storehouse of spiritual things that will keep you through a, a famine time of spirituality. And a famine is inevitable. You can't stop it. You can pray against it. You can fast. You can call in folks in the church and shut the doors and say, hey, we're going to pray this thing away. We're going to pray this tsunami away. We're going to pray this tornado away. We're going to pray the Antichrist away. We're going to pray the famine away. But God said, you can't pray away something that I have already declared was going to happen. What you got to do is you got to be like Paul and say, we're not going to die in the storm today but if we crash I'm going to hang on to the pieces of the boat and I'm going to ride it out look at somebody say ride it out with Jesus I'm going to ride it out with Jesus I'm going to ride it out with Jesus. Jesus is with me. Jesus is with me. I, this is a roller coaster. I'm up and I'm down and I'm going through turns and I'm going through different avenues. And sometimes I feel like an avalanche is coming, but I'm riding with Jesus. Just give me some skis and put them on my feet and let's ride down this avalanche. And God going to guide me through the rocks. He's going to guide me through rough terrain because I'm with Jesus. And if you are with Jesus you may be in a storm to where you're saying God where are you not realizing that something could have happened and you don't see God's provision because you're looking at a miraculous manifestation of light splitting the sky and saying I'm here but when you had a wreck you was right near the hospital well, y'all don't want to hear me. When it could have went that way, it went that way. When the tree could have di fell directly on your house, God so fit to bring an east wind to as the tree was falling to go. Y'all don't want to hear me. But sometimes you like the prophet on the mountain looking for God in the fire, looking for him in a tornado, and looking for him in the earthquake, and he was with you all the time. This is what David said. David said, where can I flee from your presence? He said, if I go to heaven, you there. He said, if I make my, he said, listen, he said, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. Even in hellish situations, he was with me. Even when I felt like I was on the top, he was with me. And then he says, even when I got out the way, y'all don't want to hear me. Some of you that's in black slid, God's still with you. Y'all don't want to hear me. He says, even if I take up on the wings of the eagle and fly to the uttermost parts of the sea, you are there. Even when I remove myself, even when I run from you, even if I go to the deepest corners of the world, you still still were right there with me. You did not leave me alone because you are married to the backslider. Oh, preach, Frederick, preach. Now we see even if I got to live here, I'm going to have troubles. But he said, fret not. I have overcome the world. And he said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. You're going to have more afflictions than anybody in this entire world. Because you got an enemy. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. The world ain't got no enemy. But you got an enemy. You got an enemy. And you're going to have many afflictions. You're going to have many trials. You're going to have many troubles. Not just in the outward part of your mind, but even in your mind. You're going to have a, even sometimes you may even have a chaotic mind. 
where the enemy is harassing you in your mind, telling you you ain't going to make it, and you on a mount to nothing, and look at all your praying, and look at your giving, and look at how you trying to live right, and you still going through hell. You'll be a tormentor in your mind, and he's trying to get you to say, what's the use? Because you have an adversary that's talking to you while God is trying to speak to you at the same time. And God is saying something and the devil is saying, did he say that? You've got to get a hold of yourself. Well, you know what God is saying. 